What's up YouTube, Mountain Metal Anthony here, and today I'm doing a railing repair on this tiny loading dock. Not really sure where the missing piece is. Supposedly they had it. Should be pretty cut and dry if they have the missing piece. If they don't, this is gonna turn this job into a whole new can of worms. So hopefully they have it so we can knock this thing out quick. Otherwise, I need to requote this job. It's gonna be a lot more money for them. Um, and it's gonna be a lot more time for me. So let's hope they have the rail. Waiting here back right now. So that was fucked up. Um, they didn't have the piece of railing that you guys seen was missing. The manager couldn't locate it, nobody could locate it. So I had to re-estimate the job because I have to refabricate it now. And because it's all this corporate bullshit, now they gotta go through, get reapproved, yada yada, so on and so on, henceforth. So I hit up one of my heavy equipment customers that's kind of in this area. I said, hey, listen, man, so I, mean, I canceled. I said, let me come weld for you today. You got anything you need done? He said, yeah, he needs a couple dumpsters worked on. So more trash work, but it is what it is. In this game, you gotta be able to bounce, react, and come up with a backup plan. And that's what I did. So we're on our way over there now. My other customer has his dumpsters rolling back to the yard right now. And while I'm waiting, I seen this place while I was driving by. They make some pretty big claims here about how good their burgers are. And if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a connoisseur. So this is where we're gonna have lunch real quick. It wasn't bad. Um, the onion rings were really good, but the burger kind of left something to be desired. But anyway, to work. So the customer needs me to fix that wheel right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. And as you can see, it's all fucked. So it isn't perfect, but it sure as hell is a lot closer. I can weld that gap. Before I had like a half inch gap, that's only about a quarter. And then on this side, I'll just beat it in and then weld that up and then this will be done. So normally, you know, I don't like to make my videos long winded and show all this welding, but I thought that this was important that I show you. You see, I'm trying to run a 7018 uphill at a really shitty angle just because I can't get my rod in there correctly. So what I do is I go ahead and I swap out for a fast freeze rod. I went over, I reached over, I grabbed my 6010 and I ran that bitch downhill. It's not how I wanted to weld it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. see me doing up there is heating the edge and beating it back into shape so I can lay the new piece of angle wire over and not try to sit there and gap weld half inch and inch gaps everywhere so you just try to flatten this out as best I can because they used the can before we got to reinforce it so um, it crinkled the edge a little bit so I'm gonna go on the other side do the same thing and then I'm gonna lay our new pieces of angle up there and go ahead and weld them down 
I'm just not fucking strong enough to lift a, lift a full stick of uh, 3 16 uh, 8 feet in the air, unfortunately. So uh, I need to re-strategize here. Um, I think I'm going to weld the pick eye to the center of it and move my truck closer and use the boom because that's the only thing I can really think of. Uh, unfortunately, that's the downside of being 135 pounds. You can't, you can't really lift fucking 140-pound stick of metal above your head and up onto a, a lip. But um, yeah, let's uh, reevaluate and then come up with a new plan. see me doing here is tacking it in place so this thing don't fall on me while I'm trying to weld it out. So if you see me beating the slag off of 7018, you know what that means. guys this is pretty much what the rest of the day is gonna look like for me until I drive home so I'm gonna cut the video here you guys don't need to watch me do the same fucking thing over and over again I'm basically just gonna cut the piece of the size lift them with the crane weld them in place it's not rocket science all right guys if you like what you saw here today like subscribe share I'm Mellow Metal Anthony I hope you learned a few things I hope you learned how to pivot in your business when life throws you lemons make lemonade all right keep dragging around keep pushing me and I'll catch you on the next one